Welcome to Cooking on the Kenai. Today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin pie. I have my mise en place ready for my pumpkin pie. In my bowl I have two whole eggs. I am going to whisk those until they are all one color. You do not want them to have bits of white showing. You want it all a homogeneous color. So to this, I am going to add a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. Remember when you do this not to use pumpkin pie filling, just the pumpkin itself. The reason you don't want to use canned pumpkin pie filling is because we are creating our own pumpkin pie filling using the pumpkin, sugar, and spices and you're going to whisk that into your eggs. Once you have your eggs whisked into your pumpkin or your pumpkin whisked into your eggs, you're going to add three-fourths of a cup of sugar. You could change that to brown sugar if you chose. In my spice bowl here, I have a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of cloves, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. I also have a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to whisk that in to my pumpkin egg mixture. To this, I'm going to add a can, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. I usually pour in about half or a third of it, probably a third of it, at a time. Get that stirred in, whisked in, add another third. And add your final third of milk. To make sure that you have gotten all the pumpkin completely stirred in or whisked in, I always take my spatula, as you can see right there, I've got pumpkin that didn't get stirred in completely, and scrape my bowl to make sure it's all going to be a homogeneous color. Once I have that blended, I'm going to take my rubber spatula and pour it, about half of it, into my pie pan or pie crust that I have already prepared. At this point, you can put your pie in the oven on a rack that has been pulled out and then finish filling the pie so you don't spill it. Or if you're comfortable moving the pie, you can put the rest of your filling in the pie shell at this time. You want to bake this at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Then you're going to turn down your oven when your timer goes off to 350 degrees and bake it for an additional 40 to 50 minutes. Hi, our pie is now done and I want to show you how to test it to make sure it's set in the center. So here's our pie and if you shake it, it jiggles just a smidge, doesn't jiggle very much. And if you take a butter knife and poke it right in the center and pull it out, it comes out clean so that you don't have a bunch of filling on your knife. Thanks for watching.